Hey guys, Paul here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going back to SoCal Teen Shop in Riverside, California. Um, it's the same shop that did this beautiful tint on my 2021 Model 3 Long Range. But today we are getting a paint protection done for the front of our car. Today video, I'm gonna take you to see the video of the whole process from beginning to the end and hopefully we can learn some tips and tricks of how to apply a paint protection on Tesla Model 3. So we are getting the full front hood paint protection and also the whole front bumper. It's gonna take about 25 minutes from my house. Let's go. Okay, we are back at SoCal Tin Shop. You can see the, the owner Model 3 is parking over there. And here it is. Let's go. We are here, let's get inside. Hey geez, how are you? Long time no see you. Back here in um, SoCal Tin Shop. So we're getting a XPAL paint protection done, right? Yep, that's right. Ultimate Plus, top of the line. Oh, that's great. Okay, let's get it started. All right. Let's go. Okay, the reason so why we're covering here, when we uh, do a clear brush, all the contamination from the tree work doesn't get under the paint protection. Ah. So it makes the job cleaner. So, you mean it doesn't right, touch the, uh, right. the wheels? Yep. Mm -hmm. So if we, uh, anytime you touch the uh, wheels, uh -huh. uh, with the paint protection, it gets under a film and then it's basically done. Oh, so protecting your hands not getting dirty Correct. from, yeah. from, the, mm -hmm. from the tires mm -hmm. and then go back and, and touch the, exactly. the theme, the paint yeah, protection theme. putting on the ramps and removing your tires. And so now we're gonna prep everything, uh, everything uh, uh, alcohol, all the edges, make sure everything, all the edges gets wrapped and uh, we're gonna start the process. So he's doing a second um, cleanup right now with the soap to make sure all the dust are coming out. You can see here it's still a little um, dirty dust still coming out after that, that first prep. So that's why he has to do the second one like in little details. So here we're gonna use we're gonna be using clay to remove all this extra extra gunk that's on the paint so the so it leaves the paint nice and smooth for the for the clear bar to stick on perfectly. So that's after two twice prepping with soap yes, so you first have to sponge, make right? sure you're cleaning, you wipe you wipe everything down, you're cleaning with soap, wipe everything down nice and clean so you don't have any dirt or any other foreign bodies all over the paint and you could uh, then we use the clay to remove all the extra stuff that's stuck on the paint so that way the clear bar sticks on perfectly just how it's supposed to and you don't have extra some dirt or anything extra on there as you can see here, you have some oxidation that comes through the paint. Uh huh. 
and you don't want that when you're installing the clear bra. Right. It's just gonna show. So you always make sure you, before you apply any clear bra, you wanna clean and prep with some clay to remove all this oxidation that comes through the paint. Wow, yeah, it just, just came off. It, it didn't come off before with, with sponge. No, not so. with a sponge. You need to do an aggressive clay wow. clay work on it. That's a, that's a good tip right there. Make sure you, you do a third cleaning, prepping with the clay. Um, so how long does it usually take to prep and clean up before you actually apply paint protection films on it? I want to say about an hour, an hour and a half, just to maybe just prep the front, the full front end. Uh huh. And sometimes even more, depending on how how dirty is the car. How dirty is the car, and how much um, how much uh, grime and foreign bodies are on the paint. Uh huh. Wow. There's no way if I would have like DIY paint protection fee myself, spend that much time prepping the car so this is why you hand it to a professional to do it and I will show you the whole process from the beginning to the end okay so we just loaded the uh, paint protection frame in there for the pre-cut before he actually apply on the car so the software is provided by Expel? Expel as well Okay, so they have most likely every car, right? Oh. The template. Oh, yeah. So now you need bigger um, paint protection roll for the hood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what's the size of this one? Oh, this is a 60. 60 inches 60. wide? 60 inches uh, wide. Yeah. Uh -huh. So he's going to use the wider 60 inches um, paint protection themes roll for the hood. Okay, now they're starting from the hood first. So now we're gonna start packing it. So now, first you just remove all the big Apple gets out, right? Correct. And now, we want to make sure we have enough. So now he has to go around the hood to make sure um, all the edges just gonna go underneath the hood. They all equally um, come out. This is most likely gonna be the trickiest part of the hood. Oh, I know enough. <laughs> Oh, he made it seem so easy. Believe me, it's not. So now we're gonna, we're gonna get the edges ready to round. Okay, so you mentioned before, um, so you always keep the surface on the top dry, correct? Correct. So, so you can see everything. Ah. Everything you do. If it's wet, everything wet, then. You don't see like small little bubbles. Correct. Fibers. Okay, so you just spread the tacking solution around um, underneath the edges and then let it sit for how long? Uh, until, uh, by the time we're done with the bumper in a, probably an hour and, hour and a half. Oh, okay. And uh, we'll wrap the edges. So now he'll let the edges off the, um, let it dry. So now the hood dry. dry a little. Correct. Okay, so now he's prepping for um, what headlight? Uh -huh. So 
so now he's applying for the headlight. Because of the shape of the headlight might be a little tricky on the top part. Oh. A top uh, edge always dry. But underneath wet. Underneath there. So sort of say that uh, materials have to to avoid all the raspberries, all this uh, it's called chicken skin. Uh-huh. Has to be all soaked all the time. So the bottom has to be soaked all the time. Uh, and everything keep... has to be soaked, but uh, you wanna keep this part always dry. Uh huh. So that's a good tips right there. Uh, okay. So the second headlight, it's done. Wow. Looking really good so far. Okay, so now he's about to apply um, paint protection on the bumper, which is I believe this is the trickiest, the hardest part of the front paint protection. Okay, the reason why I said it's the trickiest part because you can see the shape, they all um, folds and angle in different um, directions. For example, right here, you're going down in and the bottom has to be wrapped all the way top and bottom. And also that front pointy part and it changed to this side of the headlight right here. Okay, so we're gonna start here. Make sure the circle is good. So we're gonna start with the uh, tow hook area. So at least, you know, he has the point, the starting point. So make sure that part's center, nice and center. So everything else should um, to be aligned. Now he's trying to stretch. Wow, let's see over here. It looks almost impossible to stretch, but you just did it. I did it. <laughs> yeah, because like it seems like the surface and it's really slippery. Stretching it, you wanna pass so it loses memory. And now you can stretch. 
see here. Um, he tried to align that top straight line of the fog light. Just make sure everything else it's in line with the die cut of the material. And then as you can see, very straight lines is not easy. Mm -hmm. It just keep shifting. As you can see here, it's always wet bottom, dry on the top. Wet bottom, dry on the top. See, there's a cut right here, right? Right here, there. Yeah, there's another piece that ah. it goes, that design. So here's another thing. A lot of people talking about uh, clear brass in one piece. Uh huh. But again, you can bulk it. You can do all in one piece. But then you don't have enough to cover the bottom, the edges. Right. If I splice it here by hand, guess what? I'm short on this side. So that's the reason why I expelled it works on designs, someone spends a, a lot of hours of designing it. Right. And they made to protect every single edge of the bumper. And make it easier for installer to install. It's not of sort of say easier, always in the pattern. Uh-huh. It gets a little bit technical. You gotta know your spots where you're attacking. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah. um, a lot of people don't like to uh, have their uh, cut on the on their cars. This it might require a little bit of steam, but uh, was, uh, today it's kind of cold day. Uh huh. So we're gonna start to use the steamer. So what what does the steamer do? So steamer uh, kind of uh, uh, warms up the materials and it helps uh, mold it. Does it um, also help like changing the shape, stretching it? Oh yeah, definitely. It stretches much easier, mm -hmm. especially parts like this. Okay, now he's applying the steam. Well, the steam is for okay. on top of the surface, right? There you yeah, go. I guess so. Right. So it helps, as you can see. Yeah. I can see now it's it's kind of soft in the material. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna lock this side. So if you hand cutting, you can't cover this all the way. And right. You can't cover this all the way. If I splice it here, it's not enough. Final piece of the puzzle. So first, you try to um, merge with the, the cut from the first right, piece. So right. The cut is gonna be in the in the crease, but you have to seam it. You want to seam it, and want to make sure you have the right seam, so you don't see a seam. see here you can't really see the seam it's really really small seam so now it's easier to tuck in right because the they kind of dry it out. Yeah, it's dried out. And uh, what you call it, um, adhesive. 
started to um, get sticky again. Steady hands there. See, I'm not cutting. I cut the halfway material. Uh -huh, and kiss cut. And then you, you pull it off. And pull it off. So the whole process, you didn't use the heat gun at all. Yo, to stretch. Mm -hmm. You just use it to just, uh, to make the the adhesive and then it dry, right? Mm -hmm. Like at the end. So we're almost done here. We he's um, putting final touches Someone on the bubbles yeah. and the edges and um, try to get the material dry here with the heat gun he checked everything saw done here wow what a work that's a lot of work here just just for hood and the front bumper I think we took three hours um we use what hour hour and a half just to prep it right prep, yeah, and clean up make sure it, not, nothing left on the surface and another one hour and a half um, to wrap it you know make sure everything is done right let's see the final result So after the final result here, it's really, really nice. It turned out super clean, seamless. I can't really tell this being um, applied with the um, paint protection. Looks really good, thank you. Oh, anytime, anytime. Yeah, um, you know what? I thought of try to do it myself before I tried to order it online, you know, pre-cut. But after today, you know, um, filming the whole process of um, paint protection, film applying, installing, there's no way I can do it. I mean, of course, I could try, you know, but but right. there's, there's no way I can I can match your half of your quality. But yeah, but I mean, if anyone try to do it yourself, I show you the whole process today. You can try to do it yourself. Um, for me, I, I would leave it to professional, you know. Also, um, what's good about the you know, setting your warranty, self-healing product, you're never going to have a full mark. Plus, if you get MM accident, insurance companies, a lot of people don't know, but they do cover clear glass wrap. So, so most of insurance company, let's say if I, so I get, get a, a front a, accident, a, frontal. Yeah, in a minor crash, uh -huh. uh, insurance companies usually, they cover. So they cover the, the cost of, of that uh, paint and they cover the cost of the clear belt. Oh, okay. So the, they all also cover the cost of the paint protection. Correct. Okay, so what's the benefit of um, XPAL um, paint protection? I think it's, this is Premium Press, right? This is the top of the line uh, one. This is top of the line self healing. So if you do get a little bit of uh, scratch, of, of it self heals in the sun or with the hot boiling water you pour you just got to careful obviously not to burn yourself uh -huh. but uh, it heals all the minor scratches scratches yeah again if you wax it uh you got to wax it the entire car a lot of people think it's like you put that clear bar you don't have to do anything it's not true you still got to wax it uh, 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 beside that yeah do we have to um do anything 
um, special treatment to it or just regular wash, like uh, normal car? Special, you, can, you can take to any car wash. Uh, like it's very easy to maintain. Um, so a lot of people have questions about uh, doing ceramic coating on top. Uh, in my opinion, I think it's overkill. Uh -huh. uh, you already get it protected with the, exactly. the paint protection, right? The themes, yes. So what's the warranty on this so um, Expel? Uh, 10 warranty through Expel. So you do get certificate by Expel with the roll numbers. and. Uh, so 10, 10 years warranty. 10 warranty. For this color. Oh, okay. Well. So it is, if it's turned yellow, you know, before yeah. 10 years, then Correct, yeah. you exactly. get a new one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or you can go to any authorized Expel dealer in the country, nationwide. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jeez. Uh, you this is G from SoCal Tin Shop. Uh, we are located in uh, Riverside, California, uh, 2025 Chicago Avenue, Suite A1. Uh, we do offering uh, window tinting, uh, paint protection, uh, films. Uh, we are an uh, authorized Expel dealer in Riverside. And if you guys need anything, any wraps, uh, any uh, window tinting, uh, let us know. Our shop number is uh, 951. Four five five one three one three. Okay, geez. Um, so if someone were to come today and want to do a paint protection on their Model Three, how much would it cost? So uh, it starts from uh, twelve hundred for the partial, which is you get a full uh, bumper, you get partial of a uh, hood, and you get a partial fender, including uh, side mirrors. That would run twelve hundred, and uh, for the full front end, which is covers full uh, full hood full fenders, uh, bumper, uh, side mirrors. We charge from 17 to 2200. Again, it comes with the uh, wrapped edges, so you don't have any seams. Any part that the Expel designed for to wrap edges, we do wrap it. And uh, for the complete, which is a full, uh, would be from 45 to 6,000. And on the bigger cars, obviously it's a more materials, uh, more labor involved, it's definitely could go definitely up in price as well. All right, thank you, G. Mm -hmm. Before I came in here today, I thought about this for a while. That's why I didn't do PPF right after I bought a car. But after I came back from a road trip and saw a couple rock chips from the road trip, it helped me make the decision of doing PPF. And because the way Tesla designed the front end of Model 3, for better aerodynamic, made it easier for small rocks or objects to damage the front end of the car. I know $1,200 is a lot of money, but came to think of it and saw the whole process today, I think it's worth every penny. Plus, I don't have to worry about those rock chips anymore. Okay, it's finally done. Wow, it took three hours. I, I didn't realize how hard it is to apply um, paint protection on a car. I thought, you know, probably take at least, what, half an hour to prep, and then maybe an hour to, um, to apply on. But, you know, seeing it in person, seeing the whole process of it, I do really appreciate how much work they put into, how much details they um, they put into your car or my car in this case. So, like last time, you know, um, they did a really, really great work, exceptional quality for a small shop um, here in Riverside, California. So, if um, any of you live in the area. Um, I totally, totally suggest you come here. Again, this is so Cal Tin Shop in Riverside. I will put the address down below in the description below and also the link to their website. And again, they did it again. This is impressive how professional, how, um, how much experience they have. You know, you can tell in the video that you saw and I would definitely come back if I need anything else on my car or my another car so um, thanks again for watching today guys um, if you like the video please like and don't forget to subscribe 
for future content. See you on the next video.